Hi, I'm Jamie Pence from Video Bread, and I am an Eximetry customer. In the last 18 months, there has been a lot of interest in virtual sets and LED production. A lot of folks think that getting into virtual production costs a ton of money, and you need a ton of high-end hardware and software. What a lot of people don't know is that you probably have everything you need right now for basic live virtual production, except the right software. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get a basic virtual set up and running within 15 minutes. The great thing about Eximetry is that it's easy enough to be used by a novice, but it has all the tools and control an expert needs in virtual production. So if you're in production, post-production, or if you have a small creative boutique, I'm sure you have a camera with an SDI or HDMI output. That's the first thing you need. Second thing, your editing PC. If you're editing on a PC, you probably have a good CPU, a good NVIDIA GPU, and some kind of black magic or AJA capture or output device. If so, you're good on the second step. Next, you need some kind of green screen, and there are a ton of options out there if you don't have a big studio space. The last thing you'll need is a free trial of Eximetry DE software. Now let's get started. Today we have a Blackmagic Ursa Pro G2 setup. We're shooting 1080, and we're coming out SDI into our edit suite, into a Blackmagic DeckLink Duo 2. Our talent today is Video Bread's up and coming Tevin Morton, and our DP, who is currently behind the camera, Misha Kidwell. Thanks, guys, for your help today. And now we're going to get started in the edit suite. Okay. Now that we have that set up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Google Eximetry virtual sets and all these prepackaged sets you can buy, and they're crazy. I mean, uh, there's all sorts of resources for these, and the great thing about it is, if you don't have any Unreal Engine experience, you don't need to have Unreal Engine experience. You can just download these pre-built sets and uh, bring them into Eximetry. Um, they vary in price. Uh, like I said, there's different companies that offer these. You know, anywhere you know from fifty six, fifty nine dollars to up to two hundred. Um, for today, I'm going to download this large screen studio because it's absolutely free. This way, you don't have to spend a nickel. You know, download your free version of Eximetry DE. Go to this website, download this free large screen studio, and uh, you want to spend a nickel and you can test out the Eximetry software. So, I've already downloaded this large screen studio. We are going to open up the folder here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to load the Unreal Engine project. Don't worry, it's okay. We're gonna double click that. I've got multiple versions of Unreal Engine installed, but we're gonna select the Eximetry DE version. So we're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit okay. Now, the cool thing about Eximetry is they're constantly doing updates. So some of these sets that you might download uh, will be using an older version of the software and Eximetry will, if you look here, they already, they've already said it here. Look, a new version of virtual camera is available. Do you, do you want to update it or please update it? Um, so we're going to hit update because we want to make sure it's working with our current version of Eximetry. So we're going to hit update and we're going to hit yes again. And the camera has updated in this set in Unreal Engine. And look, I haven't had to do anything in Unreal except for click that button. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to cook this set for Eximetry. So we're gonna to go to File, and we're gonna hit Cook Content for Windows. At any point in time, you can go down here to your Show Output Log, and it shows you where it is in the process. Depending on the complexity of the set, it could take longer to cook. Uh, this is a very simple set, so you can see it's, it's already done cooking. Uh, some bigger sets that have a lot of reflections and more screens. You know, it could take a minute, minute or two minutes to cook. 
Just let it cook. Don't be afraid. Okay. Um, so we're going to save this. We're done. We're done with Unreal Engine, right? So we're going to close that. And now we're going to go to our Ximetry project and we're going to open that up. Now, the first thing that'll pop up is the startup configuration. This tells Ximetry where your video output is. So I've got a deck link duo, so I'm going to use output number four. Now, if you just have a capture device and you don't have an output device, you can use your standard monitor for an output uh, just to see things on the screen. Uh, but today I'm going to use my deck link duo. So I'm going to put number four and I'm going to select 1080 2997. The cool thing is, depending on the kind of card that you have, you can output all the way up to 4K or 8K. It's pretty crazy, you know, and you have all these different frame rates. Um, so it's very, very customizable to what you need for resolution and frame rate. Uh, like I said, today I'm going to select 1080, uh, 2997 progressive, and I'm going to hit start. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is if you look in the messages icon, once this, once this is loaded, it cannot find the Unreal project, okay? Uh, and that's because the developer that has built this had it on a different path, file path, than we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our flow layout here. And this is, the flow layout here is really the programming for Ximetry. And we're not going to get into that today because I'm trying to show you how fast it is to get a virtual setup and running. But what we have to do is we have to reconnect that Unreal project to the right path. So if you look down here, this is the large screen studio file. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go to input source and I'm going to redirect it to the right location. And there's the Unreal project right there. I'm going to hit open. And there it is. So like I said, the flow view is the way you program everything in Ximetry. I mean, it's amazing. Anything that you can imagine, you can do in Unreal and Ximetry. But once again, today, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to get this set up and running. So I'm gonna go to our cameras. And if you look right now, there's a preset video file that's been loaded, a uh, sample file. So you see the talents in this set. Uh, if you look at our camera views, you can have up to three different camera views. Right now we're on camera one. And each camera has 16 paths that you can use, right? So right now we're on path one and we're on A. I'm gonna copy A, I'm gonna put it on B. And with my mouse, I can go to the preview window and I'm gonna use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And I can use the both buttons to, to move up here. So now I've got a point A and a point B, right? Now, if I hit play, you see it's moving in between those. Check that out. It's moving in between point A and point B, and you can have 16 of those different paths, okay? To change the speed on that path, you go to your camera path, click this up here, and here's the speed for path one, 10. Let's say we want it faster, I'll take it to a five. And you see now our speed is faster, right? So that's how you do your moves. What about our talent in the studio? Okay, so I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna go back to A and I'm gonna move in here. So now I'm gonna go to my billboards. And the billboards are the sources that you bring in to put into your virtual set. And right now, if you look here on input one, this is our test file that's coming in. I can just turn that off. And look, there's a device that's not found. That's what I'm trying to bring in from the studio. So I'm gonna turn the test back on. I'm gonna to go to make sure I have input selected here. And if you look over here, input device, I'm gonna change that to Blackmagic Decklink Duo 1. And our frame rate for that was 1080, 2997. Okay, so I've hit okay. Our test file is still there, but we're gonna turn our test file off. And look, there is the feed from the studio. Now, obviously we have some work to do, and but the great thing about Ximetry is we can do it really quickly. 
So I'm going to go to the monitor one here. I'm going to select input. That's the raw live feed. And really the next thing we want to do is we want to crop out all this junk. You know, we just want our talent over green. So I'm going to select cropped. And you'll notice the first thing that sort of happens is it goes to a portrait mode. Now, why would you want to shoot a portrait mode? Well, if you have single talent over green, uh, if you shoot portrait mode, you actually have more resolution to work with. Um, I figured today we would shoot standard just because maybe you guys don't have portrait mounts. So that's why we shot standard today. So now we're going to crop. We're going to crop our left. We're going to crop our right. Our bottom. And there's our crop. Now we need a key. So we're going to select the key button here. Our monitor mode is selected as input. We're going to pick our background color. Right there. Hit OK. And now we're going to select the mat. And if you look, we have a little bit of noise here. So we're going to clean that up with our low cut and high cut. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I've been keen for a long, long time. And Symmetry has one of the best keyers I've ever used. I would put it up there with Ultimat. It's just amazing. It's fast. It's real time. And there's our key. So now let's look at our final. And oh boy, uh, Tevin's feet are cut off. He would not like that. So let's fix that. So we're going to select Billboard. We're going to go to our Preview. We're going to select preview one, and now we can move him up. Okay. You can either move him up left and right by using these, right? Or you can go up here and dial in numbers, which is pretty cool. So we're going to move him over here for now. We really want to adjust the shadow here. So you can adjust the shadow with the lift button. I'm going to lift him up here and take the shadow to where it just disappears in the plane. Yep, right there. Take the lift back down. Right where his feet don't disappear. Then you can adjust the opacity of the shadow, the, the width. Uh, you just have all sorts of attributes you can, you can mess around with here. Now, now what we want to do is I'm going to adjust some saturation and uh, color on our talent. So I'm going to go to our adjuster. I'm going to bring the brightness up here. Bring our saturation up. And there he is. I'm going to turn that off and on. You can sort of see the before and after. Now let's do a move. So let's go back to our cameras where on path one. Let's go back to our A point. We're going to hit copy. B, we're going to move here. Let's go back to A and go out a little bit more. Select that, hit play. And down here is where you can loop, you can ping pong, you can, you know, you can have a linear move, you can have an S curve move. I mean, the sky's the limit. The other cool thing about this free project is if you look at the control board here, you can change things that's in this virtual screen. So, you know, you could drag anything here. Uh, I've got a sample grid here. We'll just throw here. And so there's a grid, you know, that you can drag right there. Well, we've got this set up and running in 15 minutes and we're running out of time. We've only scratched 0.0005% of the surface of Eximetry. There's so many things I would love to show you if we had more time, like the light wrap for the keyer, uh, camera tracking, DMX controllable lighting. I mean, anything you can imagine you can do in Eximetry. So I really recommend for you to go to Eximetry.com and download the free trial today. Thank you very much. This has been Jamie Pence from Video Bread, and hope to see you soon.